Hi, welcome to Velf Creations. As you may know, our favorite videos to make are the ones where we share settings. However, there is one thing that we haven't been able to figure out yet. How do we cook popcorn with the F1? Let's get started. We saw this video from William Osmond over seven years ago, even before we had any lasers. Now that we own an F1, we wanted to see if we can also reproduce it. A link to his video will be in the description. First, we will simply try to engrave the popcorn kernel at a fast speed with the blue light laser. We set the settings to a power of 100%, speed of 1500 millimeters per second, and lines per centimeter to 300. We also decided to place a metal business card beneath the kernel to protect the F1 base plate. That engraving happened really fast, and at first glance it doesn't appear to have any effect on the kernel. So let's decrease the speed and increase the passes. This one had a bit more butter on it, and it's cool to see how quickly it melts. It looks like we are trying to send this kernel into the fourth dimension, or back in time. After a few passes, it burned, but didn't pop. Time for a different approach. We took out the RA2 Pro to see if we can get a more even heat around the kernel to prevent it from burning. We used a business card to help us set the focus to the proper height. Next, we also found these tweezers lying around and thought that it might be a good option to hold the kernel. Locking the chuck clamps down the tweezers and holds the kernel perfectly in place. For our first round, we dropped the power down to 50% since the max speed for the RA2 Pro is 400 millimeters per second. The plan seems to be working, but the speed might be a bit too slow because one part of the kernel still burns. We need more power, so instead of using the RA2 Pro, we will just power a drill and spin the kernel while the laser is engraving. While we get this set up, we would like to thank all of our new subscribers and followers on social media. We really love making these fun videos, and your support really means a lot. If you are enjoying this video, please leave a like and let us know in the comments if you have any ideas what you would like to see next. As you can see, we are able to spin the kernel a lot faster with the drill and are feeling very hopeful. We couldn't believe our eyes. It actually worked. Blink and you'll miss it. This took us so long that even our video light died inside the F1, but we were able to get another one to pop. So cool. There you have it. So can you pop popcorn with the F1? Absolutely. The movie starts soon and we need a full bowl. Thanks for watching and stay creative.